What's good, friends? We are back with SPL Sunday, and Nazar brought some semi stall, a stall type of team, which I kind of was expecting, honestly. Because, like, he's known to bring offense, right? So I was kind of expecting that he will change it up here. This is freaking um, SPL finals. The score is a three and one for the Tigers. Mazars on the Tigers. Mazars German. So I'm rooting for him versus Gunner. And we see a Mewtwo on Gunner's side. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen a Mewtwo yet in SPL. So the Zygarde, we have two Zygarde um, power construct on both sides. Obviously Mega Sailor that will probably run Protect to get off the Mega Turn 1 versus Groudon. As it doesn't get go for Protect, wow. Just goes for Recover, okay that works. To Scout I guess. But what if the Groudon went for SD? I guess he just was pretty sure that it's not SD Groudon. Um, I could see this being like Spike, Feral Thorn, Rocks, Groudon. What else would it be? On Mazar's team, um... Hmm. I thought it was Arceus Water at first, but he has a Kyogre, so hmm, that doesn't make much sense then. Not sure. My knowledge about Ubers is not that good to be able to tell. So it's Arceus Dark on Gunner's side. Which could be the, the standard set ones like Will Whisper, Cover, Defog. And yeah, Judgment, exactly. <laughs> this nickname is funny. It's, it's, it says Y, Y, Y in German. As he throws up the rocks. I could see it being um, Shetchel Blitzy, which is ran sometimes in the Ubers to not get tripped by Mega Gengar. <laughs> I guess Pad. Let me get Padlov on the call. Mans was in the chat. So we see him down into Zyre. I could see this. Um, this could be um, Coil Rest. Call rest Zygarde? Let me let me join call. So this mm. what the fuck? You watching the game? I'm going, for I'm going for taunt. Yeah, yeah I'm taunt. watching I'm watching the game. I'm watching yeah, the game. Okay, okay. Watch it watch it try to set up that light screen right quick. Dude, you can't just talk yeah, about your ladder fun. game in my recording. <laughs> oh you're recording? My yeah. bad. <laughs> I didn't even know. No, I, I just <laughs> that's why I left the call earlier. I mean of course you can call yeah, about gonna... it, but this, hey, do you want to make a hard read on him? Like, he's forced to switch. I don't think this has any moves to attack. Yeah, they don't, they don't can we make moves. our own call? What do you think he's switching into this? Yeah, I, I, I guess so. Um, just... Yeah, I have to wait for Padlop to recall me because there's other people laddering X. So I could come back, go Arceus. And he got poisoned, but... um. I guess he switched out the, Zy the Zygarde scouting for Ice Beam, which makes sense. If this doesn't have Refresh, this Toxic is really annoying for Ghana because this is his Defogger. Like, unless he's Defog Giratina. Um. God, I hate this guy. Why is it so weird? Oh, he said Fiona Whirlpool. Oh, he just went for softball. He was fearing a whirlpool. Right, so that was an Arceus that could have potentially trapped the Blissey. And we see just, um, yeah, Precipice Blades and the Power Construct activates. Perfect. Zygarde is here. God, why is every, my recordings are getting ruined today, dude? Like. I shouldn't even join the call. I just left it on purpose before the recording because I knew they were laddering. But I thought they were like, because Padlet was talking in the chat, so I thought he was focusing on the game. But of course, the others were still laddering. Um... Thousand Arrows is a jack shit to Ferrothorn. Obviously, not boosted. Like, Zyga Power Construct form. That thing doesn't get an attack boost when it Mega Evolves, so it makes sense. He's gonna go for like. Mm. 
Like Mazar is gonna go for recover or knockoff, I guess. Why is he linking songs? Good god. Does it have to do something with T-Wave? I mean, he says there's no T-Wave involved, but maybe the th first song. But yeah, let me just call this man Pad Lab. Good god. It's annoying. <laughs> Why is Mazasa Jive play the game? Okay, so, um. Where are we at? Turn 15? Turn 15. Why is Mazar posting songs though? Dude, he's, he's posting everything from, from the from the calm end game. <laughs> okay, so he just gets off the devog. I thought he would have gone for recovery. You know, you know, oh, wait, never mind, never mind. He didn't. I mean, this is a fun play by Mazar. Um, you can just throw them rocks back. You think it's Mewtwo X or Y? Uh, Mewtwo... wait. Let me see. Like, I don't know, I feel like he needs a... He has two physical attackers, no, two... So uh, yeah, Mewtwo Y makes sense, right? Yes, three physical attackers. Like, I think it's Mewtwo Y. I mean, Side Strike also hits on the physical side, but yeah. <laughs> what did he link? I don't want to click. <laughs> Um, I think he's... what Asis could he be? Mazar's Asis is not revealed yet. Doesn't Mazar win this? Like, he, I think he has matchup, right? I guess um, the, the Mewtwo could be a threat potentially. Depending. Like, Side Strike plus Ice Beam plus Fire Move kinda hits everything. Besides Sable Eye. Oh, he's he's primal Kyogre. Yeah. That's pretty. Like that's pretty see, nice. You don't see regular Kyogre that often. Dude, my recording's completely ruined because I like I recalled after like three minutes because I thought they finished the ladder game. They was the ladder. <laughs> Man's esteemed user said German's music ain't good. <laughs> Yo, Padlop. What? Linking some linking some German rap. <laughs> Okay, send out the ground to get rid of the rain. And he's gonna throw up the rocks? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is his nickname? It says brother Y or bro. Dog, dog, I need I need to mute myself real quick. Okay, okay. Well, it's the dog. I mean, Ferrison just comes in all the time on this, but if it's substitute, that would be bad for Ghana. But the first one is getting chipped, so Mazar's making some progress here. It's kind of... Uh, that's looking pretty promising for Mazar. It's crit that and nothing. Shadow Ball, I, I haven't seen that on a uh, Giratina in a while. Georgina O. Usually I see like Draco Defog Willowiz. What was the last move? I forgot. Why is he linking songs? Song 3. It sounds a bit like French rap. I'm not clicking on that though. Not on my recording. <laughs> Stop linking songs. <laughs> it's all up toxic. That was a nice play by Ghana getting some leftovers there. I mean, he didn't really get the lefties because he took rocks, but the next round he's gonna take the lefties. And I mean, if I can go into his own feral zone, oh yeah, I say is a better play, what am I saying? Because, like, this way, you don't give the feral zone lead sheet recovery, you also prevent a potential spike from going up. But, um, Gunna made a nice double there. Made the disabler had to take hazards there. But I don't think the. I don't think the Arceus even beats the disabler if it's. Precipice Blades did only 49 or 50, I think, so I guess it could be... I guess it could be more fist of Sable and the Judgment might hurt. But I don't think it would kill. I think it would do like 50-ish. Like, Mazar's probably calking. I obviously don't know his Sable and spread. After, after Growl is like defensive, I guess it could be more speed of Sable, but I really don't know the spread.
Like if he if he doesn't feel confident with staying in yet, he does like 50. There's a little bit less. So you can just go Blissey here. Uh, I mean, he can stay in and recover spam, but that's the risk of getting crit and stuff. So yeah, switching to Blissey is fine. That did absolutely nothing. You can go for Softbolt. Gonna stay in there pretty in the Softbolt to get his Arceus back to 65 after Poison. Pharaoh's one comes back and we have Pharaoh versus Pharaoh here, but I feel like Mazar can spike here because I don't think Gunnar is going to spike because there's a Sableye in the back. Exactly, Gunnar's not going to stay in. Even though like Mewtwo doesn't necessarily beat the Sableye, but yeah, just rolls up a spike and that's probably, that's some default art, it's probably on Mazar's team too. Like, he has Hazard stack and the Sable, but I still think Diva makes some sense on his team, yeah. Goes for Ice Beam there. Predicting a potential Sable, that would... He said no Mega, huh? I mean, he doesn't have to Mega Wolf the first turn. Dude, why, why is Mazar posting songs? I don't know. Why are they saying no Mega? He could st just... Oh, of course, of course. He could just save the Mega Evolution, right? Um, I don't know. Like, it doesn't say that I have Wall Mewtwo if it's like... I think it was... Oh, it's a 68, my bad. It does. It it's does, a 68, it does. so after Rocks it's a bit tough, I guess. Because it's like 56 and Ice Beam could do it KO or Fire Blast. I think he has Fire Blast, he just off Focus Blast or something of RSV, he just didn't want to go for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, it's Mega, I told you, he just didn't Mega the first time. Flex! How did he know? Oh, it's Mewtwo X. They call me, we predicted this one wrong. So Mewtwo runs like low kick ice punch. Oh, it's, I just realized it's ice beam Mewtwo X. That's not a set. What the fuck? Yeah, it's 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 weird. It's weird. I mean, there's probably something that it hits. Um, Zygarde. Maybe Mega Salamence. Yeah, I know, but why not ice punch? Maybe Mega Salamence has better defense than Spadev. That that's why, right? I don't know. But could doesn't be. Zygarde usually run like Spadev coil and Ubers or something? So I don't understand the ice beam. I mean, it, it obviously has a reason that I don't know. Like there's a reason. I mean, getting the RCS in doesn't do anything for Ghana. He can go for recover here, but like he has, he's still on a timer with has and poison. Yeah. I don't see how Ghana. Can I mean, Bliss is so annoying to his team now. It's it's like also the hazards are annoying. I don't see how he gets rid of the Sableye too. Guess he has the Arceus with Defog. Yeah, but the Arceus is poisoned. He doesn't have refresh. The Arceus loses one we want to okay. save I need, I need to, I need to leave call. Okay, okay. I mean, as long as Arceus is poisoned, it loses to save If it had refresh, it could be it maybe because um, it cannot get real wisp because never mind. It can get real wisp. It can only not get real wisp by prankster uses, but Mega Sableye loses the prankster ability. My bad. But that was Klefki, Klefki can't rule with Arceus, the Hork, or us, yeah, Dark Types. I can see him going for Ice Beam this time, or something else than a Skull, cause last, yeah, Ice Beam, exactly. Okay, so a lot of Toxic, so this could be, um, if he either has Heal Bell on Blissey or Rest on this, or maybe both, I don't think. On a team like this, like semi stall stall type of team, there's no way you don't run a cleric. <laughs> Can someone count how much Shake highlighted me? <laughs> 24 times. <laughs> Mazar gives song 4. And not many people receive this treatment. <laughs> Why is he chatting like instead of playing the game? What is going on? And he linked another song. 
<laughs> I mean, I guess he's just really... Oh, he gets another crit. Dang, that was the second thousand ever crit already. I don't know, like, maybe he's feeling confident he can win this game, but... I don't know, like, that's kind of... I don't want to say disrespectful to his opponent, but I wouldn't, like, post songs in chat. But... Maybe there's some story behind it that I don't know. <laughs> I mean, now the Ars just kind of has to go for recover, and he can just go for another arrow, so he can go for rest and works. So we don't see. Oh, never mind. We see Sleep Dog, Dragon Tail, Southern Arrows, Wrath. So it's not Coil. I was about to say we don't see Sleep Dog, but the thing I wanted to say that he revealed it. So this is not gonna stay in on Ice Beam potential. Uh, Sableye is either coming out or. Oh, it's Asi's ground. It got revealed. I didn't pay attention to that. Yeah, Sableye's coming out. And there's no freeze. So I guess Gunnar's going for crits or freezes. I don't know. I, I mean, also he's wasting Rokaras on the Sable, he only has 11 left. So I can get where Gunnar's coming from, but... Now his Mew is on a timer. If he doesn't get the freeze here, he's like in a bad position. But I also don't... I don't think Mazai can switch out here exactly. Because if he would switch out, he would have been at like 30% after Rock, 33 or something. So he had to recover and like bank on not getting frozen. Now his Sable is back to full basically walls like most of Gunner's team. Gunner decides to sack off his Giratina to a knockoff maybe? Or oh, foul play. They run foul play and Ubers for like DD mans, that makes sense. So the, so you don't get... Uh, see, he said GG you trapped well. <laughs> he just <laughs> ran for rocks, laid him up on his own side because he gave up. Damn. So the Tigers are up 5-1. and one. They're really dead kicking it. Oh, 4-1 and one, not 5-1. and one. Uh, let me check the score again real quick. Yeah, it was 3 and 1. And now Mazar 1. So it should be 4 and 1. Yeah, exactly. It's not updated yet. But it will update in like a few minutes. And there's left black and white, which is interesting. And two Simon OU games. I don't know. I might record Little Cup just for fun. It seems like an interesting tier. But I have no knowledge about it. Simon doubles OU and. ADV and RBY, I don't know if I will record those. Uh, thank you guys for watching, just stay tuned, I'm gonna be uh, bringing you for sure the Thorn vs Steve Angelo and Value vs P2 as long as my net doesn't die. And Jirachi was talking to Tom probably too. And we will see, I don't... So it's 4-1 now, so if the Scooters win... If the Scooters lose like um, three more games, it's over. But they can still bring it back, like 4 and 1, it's not completely over. Still 7 games if I call, if I like, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Peter friends, 